I think that street style is in a has reached its zenith and is on a on a downward trend, which is fine. I mean, I the nice thing about it for me is I, I started doing it for free in Seattle for myself. So I'll continue to do it even if it doesn't become lucrative in, in the way that it that it has been. Oh my my name's Adam Katzinding. And as far as when I started to shoot uh, street style, well, I started in 2007 back in Seattle uh, when I, I used to work in a hotel carrying people's bags for a living with my college education. It was just a, something interesting to do to document people in Seattle, take their photo just to have a, kind of an excuse to talk to them. And then I moved to New York in 2010 and uh, it was so much easier to find um, interesting people obviously in New York is individuals and, and you know people with with interesting personal style I mean it evolves or devolves I don't know how you want to put it New York has become very commercial um, I mean it's always been commercial but it's become more and more commercial the, now with the advent of you know these like super bloggers um, these shows just capitalize on the bloggers so you have like the most people going to like Tory Burch and coach and you know brands like this which are in my opinion brands that don't necessarily need to have fashion shows you do have amazing designers in new york like uh, proenza like mensa gabriel the row i mean it's less and less interesting all of them are less and less interesting every season because you realize that everything has been kind of curated for you by the brands whereas it used to be a bit of you know actual personality to it but there's still the the random individuals who turn up where, where you're just like wow who is that like where, where did they learn to dress like that? Where did they find those pieces, you know? I try to remain pretty naive to the idea that these people are being paid to wear these things or that they're just being given the stuff. I mean, I know that that's the case, but I try to just look at it at a little bit more superficial level and pretend like I'm, you know, in this amazing, you know, visually stimulating anomaly of, of event. But then you see these people who go to the shows who just don't, pardon my language, but who just don't give a fuck. They don't care who I am. I'm just in the way when they're trying to cross the street. And those are the kind of people that I really like. They're there because they need to go write about the shows, see the shows, style the next editorial based on the, you know, clothes that are in that show. That's what the purpose is. I think the street style photography has generally become a way for people to sell clothes, which makes me hate it. Um, I try to, uh, there's a few, you know, a few people who really focus on trying to show people what it's like to be there. I think that's, it's like photojournalism. It's, that's what I'm trying to do. In, in not a hundred percent documentary way, but in, in, in a way that's, you know, appealing to look at as well. I, I wouldn't mind going back to when you didn't spend the whole day just shooting influencers. You, you shot the stylists and the editors and the models and things like that. I have nothing against influencers. I just don't think that they're an integral part of the industry in the way that, you know, that's not what Fashion Week was designed for. I have two books. I have my, my, my first book is called This Is Not A Fucking Street Style Book because I just hate having people call me street style photographer. I mean, even though I am, and that is the genre of, that my photos are, like I also am a photographer. So that's why my second book is like travel photos from places that I've been around the world, photos of things that are not fashion related that I've seen on the way. I think that was kind of an attempt to show people that I'm not just a one trick pony, like I can do more than one thing. Because you know, it gets pretty boring when you think about street style in general and going to fashion week. You're literally just taking photos of people walking that way, and then you wait 30 minutes, and then they walk that way. And that's, you know, and we stand out in the pissing rain all day long to wait for these people to walk in a building and then walk out a building. It's really boring. I'm going to Lisbon for Fashion Week after this, and then I'll go back to Copenhagen um, for 10 days at home. And then hopefully the sun will come out and I'll be able to go ride my bicycle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>